The Georgia Southern Eagles at their home away from home. Saturday in the national championship game. A familiar sight as Georgia Southern takes the field for the third year in a row. And they'd start things off with a bang. On the first play from scrimmage, Mark Myers will go 73 yards all the way to the Montana 7. Montana came into this game allowing only 80 yards rushing per game. Nearly get it on the first play. Later on third and goal from the one, JL Reveal will cough it up. But James McCoy there to recover it. The fans think it's a touchdown. And then the official word, and it's 7-0 Georgia Southern. Montana trying to move the ball. Yo Humphreys will go 22 yards all the way down to the GSU six-yard line. But three plays later, Drew Miller will be picked off by Mike Ward. Threw it right to him. Ward gets down at the three. The defense continuing to play solid. Mike Youngblood there. Prevent the first down. Back on offense. Fourth and one. Eagles go for it. J.R. Revere picks up two yards. On the very next play, it's Air Eagles. J.R. to Chris Johnson. A 49-yard touchdown. The extra point was no good, though. The Eagles would take a 13-0 lead. Eagle defense solid throughout the first half. Yo Humphrey stacked up by Gino Tatura and Freddie Pascana and a host of others. On the very next play, Drew Miller back to pass. He'll be sacked by Jamar Jones. He'd leave the game after this play and not return for the rest of the game. Chris Snyder would then come in and 38-yard field goal was up and good. The lead cut to 13 to three. We move on to the second quarter. J.R. Revere to Adrian Peterson. He picks up 16 yards on the pitch. Scott Shelton would then come in for a 45-yard attempt. It hits off the upright, no good. Montana trying to get something going, but Mike Youngblood there once again for the stop. Moving ahead late in the half. J.R. Revere to Chris Johnson. This one good for 37 yards to the Montana 32. It would set up from the one. Adrian Peterson goes in and would go to the half with the Eagles leading 20 to three. Up next, second half highlights. Second half, the rain continues to fall. The Eagles hoping to stay on top. It's the defense trying to start things off strong. Jason Neese with a nice tackle. Next up, LeVar Rainey and Gino Tatura throw Yo Humphrey down after a short game. The Grizzlies would start the scoring. John Edwards to E2 Molden, who makes a nice run, staying on his feet, going 17 yards for the touchdown. Once again, the kick would fail, 20 to nine. Onto the fourth quarter, a huge play here. Fake punt, fourth and two. And it's Vince Huntsberger making a nice move, shedding tackles and going 65 yards all the way for the score. Once again, the extra point no good. 20 to 15 Eagles. Moments later, after a J.R. Revere fumble, Yo Humphrey goes in from the two, and just like that, it's 23-20 Montana. But on the Eagles' next play from scrimmage, it's the play of the game. Adrian Peterson gets through the line, picks up a nice block, and goes 57 yards for the score. He finished with 148 yards rushing and two touchdowns. 27-23 Eagles. It was time for the defense to step up. First, Ryan Haddon with a pass breakup on fourth down. Andre Weathers then coughs up the ball. Montana recovers at the 33. The defense would then come up with some big stops, but probably none bigger than this one. Ryan Haddon, the interception in the end zone. And the Eagles go on to win their sixth national championship, 27-25. Scott coming up with a final nice defensive play with a pass breakup, and the Eagles would claim championship number six as they defeat the Montana Grizzlies by a final score of 27-25. How do you feel great, man? I mean, see you. 
This is where you go out, baby. And I mean, they made a run right there at the end. But our defense held strong. Good talk, Chris. Hey, number one, baby. Number one. We number one, baby. We are number one. Hey, all the non-believers. We're number one. I mean, everybody, you know, they counted us out from the beginning, and we came up here and stepped it up. I mean, we believe in ourselves, really, you know what I'm saying? And that's all and that's all it took, you know what I'm saying? Nobody ever believed in us, but we believe in ourselves. Man, a lot of people doubt us, but, you know, we stick with the program, and ain't nothing we can't do, you know? We play as a team, you know, we win as a team, you know? Sometimes we lose as a team, but then you come together, you know? It's what happened after you lose, you know? We came back, you know, they responded good. They got a good team, you know, I give it to them. But, you know, I give it to our coaches. They put together a good game plan, and we won it, man. Well, everybody doubted us, but we knew in, in, in the inside of this team that we knew we could do it. So we just came out here and played our best today. So I, I'm so happy now, I don't know what to say. Hey, it's feel wonderful. Hey, they say we couldn't do it. We did what they say we couldn't do. One more time, like last week, I mean, the defense always accept challenges and do their best, baby, all the time. And that's all we wanted tonight is come out and do our best because you know we had to, you know we had to play hard for this big offense, and we did it, baby. And I was in charge, and you know, it feels great. Like I've said in the past, nothing against this year, but or last year, but you know, you know, this this was gonna be a lot. It's gonna be special, you know, because you know, I feel like I was more a part of it. Everybody inside the team organization knew we could, and nobody else did, but we knew it, so we proved it. Out of doubt, um, you know, the first was always they say is the sweetest one, and don't get me wrong, it was very sweet, and uh, you know, I'm taking nothing from that one because I'll I'll never forget that one either. And um, but you know, I think this one means a little more maybe to me personally. You know, I'm, number one, I'm a senior, and number two. You know, like you said, I don't think anybody gave us any credit, gave us any chance whatsoever. Um, but, you know, thank God he let us get here again um, back to back years, and, you know, we was able to pull off a big win. I'm, you know, so proud of our players and assistant coaches because I think the mark of a football team is do you get better. And this team got better every week as we played. They got better and better. And sure, we made mistakes sometimes, but it wasn't from lack of effort or it wasn't from playing hard. And you know, they—I was just so proud of them. So in a rare year when the Eagles weren't supposed to win it all, they did just that. Took home their unprecedented sixth national championship, and it's the third time they've won it back to back. But thank you for joining us throughout the year.